For our uh, final test, and we kind of saved the best for last, we're going to witness the uh, destruction test of a twin path spectra sling. The twin path sling design features two independent paths side by side that make their own connection between the hook and the load. They give the sling user the backup protection and redundancy that do you do not have in any other form of sling, such as wire rope, chain, synthetic webbing, or single path round slings. This particular sling is a Twin Path Spectra 2000, which has a rated vertical capacity of 20,000 pounds, a basket capacity of 40,000 pounds, and a choker hitch capacity of 16,000 pounds. This particular product is four foot pole to pole and weighs two pounds, eight ounces. It's the lightest, strongest sling known in this galaxy. Secondly, the Twin Path sling design features a double cover, contrasting colored cover. Inside the outer orange polyester cover, there is an inner red inspection cover, making uh, this particular sling design one of the easiest in the world to inspect. And lastly, we have a unique feature called a tattletale. The tattletale is not a precision piece of instrumentation, but is simply the end of the yarn bundle that protrudes out from underneath the cover and provides the sling user with a visual alert that the product is being overloaded or has been overloaded. We suggest that tattletales be used as a component in an entire system of inspection and never to be, to be relied upon strictly. You can only count on two things in life, and that's death and taxes. And if you count strictly on tattletales, you may end up being a dead taxpayer. In any event, let's go ahead, and uh, this particular sling has been preconditioned to uh, 40,000 pounds vertical, which is twice rated uh, capacity. And we're going to go ahead now and uh, pull it to vertical destruction. I'll try and uh, zoom in on the uh, tattletales to uh, show you what's going on. As we approach uh, the brake strength, we're expecting to uh, obtain about uh, 100,000 pound test strength on this particular model, and uh, we'll see how far we get with that. 20,000? We're at rated capacity, or 20,000 pounds. Thirty thousand. 30,000 pounds. Forty thousand pounds or twice rated capacity. Fifty thousand. Fifty thousand? Fifty thousand. Fifty thousand. A cat couldn't scratch it. Three times rate of capacity, 60,000 pounds. Now, I'm not afraid to be this close. 70, I'm 70,000. I'm the closest person to this sling. When these slings break, and we have never been able to actually part one into two separate pieces, there is no devastating 75, whiplash. 75,000 pounds. You can see the tail tails have moved 80, away. 80,000. 85,000. 85,000 pounds. 90,000. Hear, hear it starting to talk to you? 95. 95,000. 100,000. 100,000 pounds. 105. 105. Just got a break at 110,000 pounds. Break at 111.5. 111. 500 pounds, and uh, you can see that uh, one of the tattletales has actually disappeared underneath the cover. What we suggest to sling users is that if the tattletales are more than half an inch away from the line, or if they're totally gone and disappeared, that the sling should not be used. Now, what I'd like to do, as ridiculous as this may seem, is to go ahead and load that sling up again and see if we can get another value. Some damage on the cover, red core visibility, 
same here. Tattletail gone. Let's go ahead and load her again, see what we can get. We're going to just keep the tape running. 20,000. We're at ready capacity. No other sling that 25. 25,000 pounds that would survive. 30,000. 30,000 pounds. You're starting to go. Cascading. What did we get? 35,000. Stop the test. Now, you can see, obviously, yarn visibility, which is criteria for removal on any of the soft fiber slings. You can see the contrasting colored covers, and you can also see the internal load-carrying yarns, which are spectra made by the Allied Signal Corporation. As ridiculous as this may seem, what I'd like to do is to see if I can get uh, any more strength out of this. The test technician doesn't think we're going to be able to get anything uh, beyond this, and I'm willing to think that we could probably get at least rated capacity out of this. So as ridiculous as this may seem, I'll bet you lunch. He says we're, we're betting lunch. Where are we at? 10,000. 10,000. 15,000. 15,000. 18,000. 18,000. 20,000. 20,000. 20, I guess I got lunch coming. 20,000 pounds. 20,000 pounds. What we're doing now is to just keep stretching and stretching, so we can go ahead and stop the test. What was the value on the second break? 35,000 pounds. Initially, 100, 11,500 pounds. Second break was 35,000 pounds. And then in an extremely distressed state, we obtained uh, rated capacity on this fantastic product. Greatest single advance in the history of the rigging world. This is Mike Gelski with the Lift It Manufacturing Company in Los Angeles, California, signing off.